I've talked about water intoxication, also known as hyponatremia, which usually doesn't occur unless you're outside working extremely hard for at least a four hour time period, drinking lots of water and not replacing the sodium that's lost through sweat. But yet in these hot months, especially for those of us who spend a lot of time outside, it is a risk. One of the ways that I avoid hyponatremia is first off, I try to keep a balance between the sweat I lose and the amount of water I take in. On a general day, even when I'm working hard, I probably shouldn't be getting more than four to six liters. But there are formulas that I use to help me calculate how much sweat I might lose an hour, which also helps me calculate how much water I should be taking in. But we have to realize that there's salt or sodium in that sweat. And if we're doing exercise for a long period of time in these hot days, drinking lots of water, we could get that hyponatremic effect, which is very dangerous and can be a big problem.